Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Spanish John from Philosopher's Stone Gaming. Back here with another episode of Steam Deck Saturday. And yes, this is another two for one special. You're getting two episodes on one day. And just like last time, I understand it is not Saturday. But you know, too bad. I'm just going to take the episode and like it or don't. Doesn't really matter. These are mostly educational videos. Not really educational, but informative videos. Now, this episode is going to be a lot shorter. Because, for some reason, almost every racing game works on the Steam Deck. I'm not sure how I feel about that, if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but, uh, yeah. Also, I was going to mention this last time in the last episode. Last video. But, uh, then I redeemed a lot of my old Humble Bundle codes, and my grade on deck jumped from what was originally going to be me telling you that it went from 79 to 80. But it went from 80 to 102 down. So, yeah. Awesome. Very soon. I will be doing a giveaway for one of these games. Maybe in the next episode, maybe in the episode after that. I still need to get a few more things to get set up for that video in particular. But once we do, we'll do that. We might even uh, start a series on that. And then don't worry, I am working on the Animal Crossing video. More is coming. Though I believe the official episode 2 is going to happen outside of the main series subsection on the YouTube channel. Up to you guys to watch that or not. I'm not going to say any more on what I have planned in that regard, but uh, there'll definitely be at least a highlights video for episode two. And then hopefully by episode three, we can either maybe start streaming it or just going back to normal production of that. But... For now, I have planned what I have planned. We're going to stick to that schedule. And without further ado, let's go into episode four. Let's try out the few racers that for somehow don't work. And we're going to start off with something weird because it's not exactly a racer, but you still drive it around. Taxi. Which is basically a ripoff of Crazy, crazy Taxi. Remember? Maybe using the word ripoff is not, is not the best way to go about it, but you get my point. Oh, shit. Well, apparently one of the recent updates to the Steam Deck, you cannot use the right analog stick as the mouse stick, but it is overly sensitive. Like, I am losing the mouse. Oh god, this is entirely used with the mouse, okay. Does it mean I have to drive with the keyboard too? Is that, is that what you're suggesting? Let's raise the quality up here. Yeah, I know it's a Steam Deck, but goddamn. Uh, sure, U.S. Da -da -da -da. Sign a driver, apparently. Okay. Yeah, just for the sake of this video, we're just gonna do it. Let's 
So how do we assign a driver then? Show logs, upgrades. This is very serious for a taxi game, I'm not gonna lie. So let's assign you to taxi one. You're in taxi one. Now what? Now I gotta move it to the depot, I guess. I don't Okay, so this is like a taxi management game, apparently. Interesting. Not what I was expecting. Definitely not a tax, crazy taxi ripoff in this case. But it's running. That much I can tell you. Oh, God, my taxi driver's terrible. She just crashed. Oh, God. This is actually kind of funny, though. No, bruh, what? <laughs> Collision watch? Anyways, I think we've seen enough here. Let's uh, carry on. This was a very interesting experience, nonetheless. I think we can all agree on that. You know, while well, the graphics are not the best, I do like the cell shaded look to it. That I do like. Anyways, does it run? Yes. Should you be playing this? I don't know. That's up to you, I guess. Goodbye. Alright. Not a hot shot racing. My initial thoughts of this is this is, you know, like Horizon Chase Turbo or something. Which is a great game if you haven't played it, by the way. Oh, yeah. Sorry, you know, back-to-back -back episodes gotta crack my knuckles. <laughs> And I don't think I asked you guys in the last video, but while we're waiting here, how are you guys? How's everything? It has been about three weeks. Like I said, I had birthday. Then I don't know what I did the week before that. I think I just justified the fact that I made two episodes for you guys and not didn't do anything. Really should have used that time to uh, have something ready to go. But anyways, life happens. And now we're here. So far, this, this looks like it's working just fine. Again, doesn't go higher than that. No, because we really didn't change anything. All right. I'll do a quick single race. Look at the polygons. I mean, I know that's the art style I went for, but still, look at the polygons. You know, she's going to be my speed racer. Let's go. Kaiko. Toshiro, Ching, Marcus, Aston, Victor. Yeah, don't redline the car, but couldn't help it. All right, it's working just fine. It does definitely remind me of Horizon Chase Turbo in a way. And other games in similar fashion. The drift is a little floaty. That's really all I can say in regards to that, but I believe that's intended if I'm not mistaken. Oh, God. Okay. 
That's that's some fucking boost. Exaggerated as fuck, and I love it. Yeah. Ow. Be nice. Anyways, this game's definitely not that graphically demanding. If I didn't get it for free through Humble Bundle, I would definitely say play this on your Switch OLED in particular. It's gonna look a fucking amazing. And that's and that's my thing. If it's not gonna be that demanding and it's gonna be on Switch, I'm getting it for Switch. Simply because of the OLED. No. This Black Friday, I am going to be looking for an OLED TV, not going to lie. Don't need a new TV, but the OLED Switch has spoiled me. Not really much of a mobile gamer, so OLED phones haven't done much for me in that regard. But OLED Switch, though. Yeah. Game changer. And eventually, down the road, probably PC monitors, too, but... For now, that's even more expensive than the TV. We can definitely wait. Says so that. What do you guys think? You think we'll end up in first place for a game I've never played, never touched? I mean, I believe in me, but do y'all believe in me? Or do I got to believe in the me that believes in myself? Shout out to those who get the reference. And if you don't get the reference, well. I'm not sure we can be friends. That's all I got to say to that. Hey, we did it though. I told you. 100%. Let's go. What was that? Like five achievements in one run? Look, we're still getting them. Yeah, baby. Oh my god, did it still go? Oh, that's great. Uh, listen, I'm just that good, okay? This is this is the one thing that Nintendo needs to get on board on. Achievements are are great. They're euphoric, and they also add more replayability to games. Anyways, that said. We know for sure Hot Shot Racing works. So on to the last one. We know uh, the other two grids work just fine. But this one, for some reason, unsupported, I believe is the correct term. Unknown, okay. Well, we're going to let you know right now, Valve. I got you. Because the best thing is... All Steam Decks are practically the same, at least in terms of the actual CPU, GPU, and RAM. If you haven't seen current videos, or if not something you're following. Apparently, Quarter 3 Steam Decks are coming with better analog sticks on the lower end, apparently. The, uh, the 64 gig model does get a slower type of uh, NVMe. But overall, it's gotten way better and they have better fans which I think I have a Q1 fan that was a Q2 adopter but uh, I think mine is still based on Q1 just because of the wine alright so far it's working just fine though it is making the steam deck work look at that the fans at six and a half k rpm okay i don't know if you can even hear it i mean i'm putting it close to the mic right now but in general i don't know if you guys can hear or have it positioned normally so graphics and we're on low Interesting. So I'm going past that. I'll go over two times multi sampling. V sync on. Where are 
frames right now. We're still at 60, okay. So what if we bump it up to medium? For some reason the seam deck shut like the fan just shut up now. Want to put a two times multi sampling. Hockenheimring. I believe this was another PS3 360 era game, so yeah. Look at this. Probably, realistically, a 480p HD video, but maybe 720 at maximum. Alright, honestly, we're doing fine in performance. Some occasional dips. I saw it go down to 52 for a second there. Sorry, guy. Oh, good. I mean, I forgot you can do this, so why not go all the way back? And again, I'm judging the graphics based on the fact that I'm playing this on a monitor for you guys. Well, still kind of displaying what it would kind of look like on, like I said, it's, the, the magic I'm working is, you know, quite magical. But I think fan noise right now isn't too bad. We might be able to push it up. If not the medium preset, like I might not change that. Whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely forgot. Listen, I play arcade races. I'm not going to lie. So I forget I gotta switch gears quite literally when it comes to these kinds of games. But anyways, we might be able to bump this up to 4x multi sampling to help deal with some of this ugly graphical look. Though I would say it probably looks better than the Switch version, which is an A plus. Before you factor in an OLED screen, anyway. Motherfucker. Fuck you, gay. And of course. I always forget to. I always forget how intricate these games are. I do enjoy playing them, I just, I gotta adjust for playing it. Like I said, this ain't no need for speed, been that club, any of that. Oh, suck my penalty, okay? But I think we can all conclude game runs perfectly fine. No issues, no hitches. Graphically, you're not going to max this out, unfortunately, but it is grid. I don't know what you were expecting in that aspect, realistically speaking. This game is, is demanding. It's demanding in this game is scales. But as long as the car models are good enough, like they are currently. I'd say that's all that really matters, that and the track. Anyways, I'm going to save myself any further embarrassment. And we're going to stop right there. And I'm going to thank you, lovely people, for tuning in. Especially if you did this back to back. Otherwise, if you just decided to watch this one another time, 
more power to you. Now, you see that lovely part right there before I sign off? Feral Interactive is responsible for the Linux port of this game. Even though they haven't done the Linux port of this game yet. So that means in theory, if they get around to it, this game could run phenomenally well on the Steam Deck. Anyways, with that said, thanks for tuning in. You guys stay awesome, stay safe, and until next time, I'm out.